One of my main interests has been to develop new therapeutics for neurologic diseases, particularly Lou Gehrig's disease. So as part of that, we developed a drug which was recently approved by a Food and Drug Administration for the treatment of what is called pseudobulbar affect, which sounds like an arcane indication, but a lot of patients with ALS, about half of them, experience problems controlling their emotions. They have inappropriate laughter or crying or, or anger and so forth. Now, we were trying to develop a therapy for ALS, but when we gave the drug to patients with the disease, almost immediately we noticed this profound effect on this emotional control. And interestingly now, um, we think that has other possible uses in ALS, and we're starting to study it, perhaps uh, an effect on speech and swallowing, which are impaired in ALS, and that's, so that's our, our next direction with that drug. Our second, our second drug is in an earlier stage of development, and this specifically targets the, um, uh, uh, the familial form of ALS. About 15% of patients with the familial form of ALS have a mutation in a particular protein called SOD, or superoxide dismutase. And now that you know exactly where, what the target is, we've been able to design a specific drug that actually goes into the brain, sort of acts like software, and reprograms nerve cells and other cells to produce less of this protein. And in animal models, we showed that we could reduce the amount of protein, and we could also improve survival in animals. And so that took us, that's, that's the sort of preclinical work. And then we've gone to Food and Drug Administration, done all the safety studies in, in, uh, it, that are required, and now we're in a phase one trial. And this study's been done in collaboration with the University of California, Dr. Cleveland, Dr. Miller at Washington University, and myself, and a company called Isis Pharmaceutical. And we've had very generous support from the ALS uh, Association and other agencies as well, like muscular dystrophy. Wow, so how far off do you think we are from what? Well, interestingly enough, this, this drug that we're uh, uh, treating uh, or hope to treat familial ALS with may actually have application for treating uh, what's called sporadic ALS, which accounts for about 90% of, of the patients with the disease. And the meeting which we're just attending today, more and more people think that this protein that I just mentioned, superoxide dismutase or SOD, may be a, a, a player in the, in the whole uh, and all of ALS, and so therefore targeting this protein may actually turn out to, per, to lead us to a therapy for all forms of ALS, and so we are in clinical trials as we speak, and hopefully that moves faster and faster. I can't give you a specific time, but when you go from uh, what used to be the laboratory, you know, through all the preclinical studies, now you're in humans, um, as long as the drug is safe, it, you know, it should have a fairly smooth development path as we go forward. So I, my guess would be in the next few years, a drug like this will be, have either been proven to be useful or, or not. And if it's proven to be useful, I expect it will be rather ra rapidly approved, you know, for use in patients. I mean, considering the, the lack of really powerful therapies for, for the treatment of ALS, any drug that showed a, 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 a robust effect would likely to be approved fairly rapidly. Wow, so you know, for the people who are watching this who are just like, I don't got time, doc. I, don't, I have maybe six months to, you know, year and a half, two years is what most people live. Um, you know, what can you say to them to give them some hope like, uh, look, just, just, just hang on because we're finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel or, you know, how would you describe where we are now? I think generally, uh, you know, going beyond my, my own work and, my, and the work of my colleagues, I think you can see a lot of exciting ideas that are, that are all leading to, hum, to human trials. And now there must be at least three or four drugs are in trials as we speak. And these look like very uh, interesting opportunities. So I, I think a lot of us are very excited about the possibility for really changing the, 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 the outcome for ALS patients. Uh, you know, we have one drug in the market, I mean, I mean, it's been there for a while, called Reliazole. It's, it's modestly effective, and I think a lot of us think that we're gonna have much more effective drugs in the next few years. I, I certainly don't think it would be realistic to, for someone to say in the next six months, you know, we're gonna have a drug available, but I think over the next few years, it's very likely that we're gonna have better therapies for ALS. Uh, 
and I think that that the future um, it looks very promising in great part because we know so much more about the disease. Almost every week now, uh, we, we, we have, or every month certainly, we're having breakthroughs, new genes being discovered. Each one of these provides you insight into how you might actually treat the disease. In other words, in the past, going back 10 years, 20 years, you're just sort of throwing sort of any sort of idea at the at the problem thinking well maybe for example maybe it's an inflammatory disease so maybe we should treat with you know a drug like uh, uh, Celebrex or something and you know and it might have worked and not a bad idea but I think now we're we're getting a much better idea about the disease the mechanisms of the disease and I think that that's helping us to focus uh, the, our, our therapeutic efforts so that we're much more targeted than we ever were before. Oh my God, that is so amazing. That's super yeah. exciting. I think, yeah, the, I think the physicians and the scientists and, and, the, and the companies are, are excited as well. I mean, that, and once you start, once that process starts unfolding where, where you know, people are excited, uh, the resources become available and, and things move a lot faster, so. Everybody wants to ride on the train that's Everyone, moving. Yeah, everyone's gonna be moving forward once you start making progress, so. It, and uh, so I, I hope to be. I hope you're interviewing me in a couple of years, and we, and we'll, we'll be able to sort of affirm what I've just told you now that you know there, there, there's really a lot of progress, um, and so we'll, we'll we'll come back and talk in two years. I will for sure do right. that. All Anything right. else? No, that's wonderful. Thank you very much. That was that. absolutely wonderful. Thank you very yeah. much.